So this is tricky because there are a couple of things that I think have to be taken care of to address these things. Some of them can be addressed federally and some of them have to be addressed provincially. Uh, mental health care, for example, must be provided for provincially. And so that's something that the federal government doesn't have a whole lot of control over. But what I would like to see as part of our public health care system is universal mental health care. Technically, we have it, but it's so underfunded that you have to end up on a waiting list and you don't get to necessarily choose who your therapist therapist is. So if you want to get to a therapist quickly and you want to choose who that therapist is, you can do it, but you have to pay out of pocket for that, or you have to have private health insurance. And so it's not really a universal system, at least certainly not accessible and not very robust. And so that's something I would like to see changed is to have a strong mental health universal system set up. Then I think that would be able to just, if, if everybody was aware that they could access mental health services whenever they needed it, um, I think that could alleviate some of the issues that we're seeing in our society. But then to go along with that, there would have to be some sort of an education component because I think there is still a stigma, especially among men of accessing counseling or therapy or whatever. So that would have to be addressed. I think that stigma is decreasing, but I think it's still there in a significantly way. I took a uh, mental health and women class in university and one of the assignments that we had to do, my partner and I, we had to do research on men and mental health. And so that was really interesting. Very eye-opening. I learned a lot during that. So I think that would address some of the things like suicide, domestic violence, intimate partner violence. I think being able to address mental health would help some of that. And then as far as homelessness and poverty, those are things I think can be addressed through the federal government. Poverty, I, I think we could go back to the UBI, for example, that could go a long ways to be able to address poverty in our community. Homelessness and in the last, oh, I guess 50 years or so, we've gone from over 30,000 social rental housing units completed a year to one or 2,000 a year in Canada. And having a lack of social housing is going to contribute to homelessness, right? Especially now, like housing is so unaffordable. Lethbridge has the least affordable rent in the province. We have some of the highest rent, but we also have the lowest median wage in the province, which means we have some of the most unaffordable rent costs in the province. And so that's going to make homelessness a real issue for some people. And so I think it's important that we are providing social housing, not just in Lethbridge, but across the country. If we can make mental health truly universal, and if we can address poverty through things like UBI, and if we can address homelessness through things like more social housing, and not just more market housing, but social housing as well, then I think we could address some of those things that you bring up.